Welcome to the world of deep tech. In this video, we will examine the differences between technology and product development in the context of taking advanced technologies from lab to market. An idea in this space starts with a macro definition of the problem that the researcher is trying to address. Criteria for evaluating an idea, the different stages of development, and factors to consider at each stage are discussed in my previous videos. Various options to solve this problem are explored and the potential path is picked to build a proof of principle prototype. This is typically the research phase of the technology commercialization. The technology at this stage is too raw to take to the market. So additional work to prove the technology's ability to solve the problem identified is first demonstrated in the lab using a proof of concept prototype and then in real life environment using proof of value prototype. This is the experimental development phase where the solution is used by the first customers to demonstrate the value of the technology to them. These first customers are typically any customers willing to try it either for free or with minimal cost and commitment. Most of these customers are willing to try the solution as long as it doesn't disrupt their regular course of activities and can bring value to them. The emphasis and the mindset of the commercialization team in these stages is on potential solutions that can be developed to different customers based on the technology. The emphasis is on technology, developing it and taking it to the market through all possible avenues. If you look at the level of attention and effort of the team in different facets of technology commercialization, at the proof of principle stage, most of the attention is on the details of technology development with a macro 10,000 foot view of the market. This emphasis on technology development both in terms of mind space and the depth of attention continues through proof of concept and proof of value stages. As the proof of concept starts, the team also starts to monitor the process considerations and expand the monitoring of the market as it prepares to identify potential first customer. At the proof of value stage, as the team starts to interact with first customers for on-site demonstrations, the team starts to consider aspects of the market at a little more detail and starts to look at product features that are important to these first customers. Through the proof of concept and proof of value stages, the uncertainty and risk related to technology is significantly reduced. A proof of value demonstration also reduces market uncertainty but marginally. The outputs of a successful proof of value demonstration are different forms of IP assets and know-how related to it data and reports from the demonstrations, working prototypes that demonstrate the value to the customers, and testimonials from these first customers. While the first two of these are central to the value of the technology, the other three are incidental and are supporting evidence. The IP and know-how created at this stage can be commercialized either by licensing it to third parties or by building a product. We discussed licensing in our previous video. Based on the outcome of proof of value demonstrations, the team might decide either to shelve the technology or go back to the lab for further development as critical figures of merit aren't feasible with current technology. Here, let's take a closer look at developing a product based on the technology. That takes us to the next phase of discovering the product market fit in the path from lab to market. Before we go further, let's take a look at new product adoption curve. Customers who tried the solution at proof of value stage 
are the innovators finding the product market fit is the process of developing a product that can push this customer base towards early adopters and beyond this is the stage where there is a phase transition from technology development to product development and deployment at the end of the proof of value stage the team will drill down to finding out the total available market and serviceable available market which is the portion of the total market that they can reach with the technology and serviceable obtainable market which is a market that the team can actually serve in order to build the product the team needs to drill down further to individual customer and understand her well the team needs to understand the demographics of the customer key people that influence her decision making sources of information what she watches where she lives her socio political considerations and the regulatory and legal frameworks that influence her decision making in addition the team needs to have a deep understanding of the burning problems that the customer is trying to solve they need to understand the process she follows to go from information to decision and the key time and financial constraints that govern her decision making once the team has this understanding it has to build a product that can provide a solution to the customer's burning problem and deliver clear demonstrable and measurable value to the customer ideally this is the product based on the technology that was developed earlier and maybe other technologies in the team's portfolio developing this product could also mean in licensing third party technologies and integrating them if you look at the relative level of effort and its granularity at this stage the effort has clearly moved away from technology related activities towards product development taking the product to market and scaling up the manufacturing processes any technology development activities at this stage are geared towards solving engineering issues the key outcomes of this phase in addition to the ip assets and the know how that the team gained through these stages are a tangible product initial revenues from early adopters and customers who are willing to spread the word about the solution and the value the team is offering the technology uncertainty by the end of this phase is almost eliminated and the market risk is substantially reduced to summarize while technology development is focused on the problem product development is customer focused while figure of merit is an important criteria of success in technology development value to customer is the key measure of success in product development while technology development is geared towards exploring the best solution to the problem product development is geared towards exploiting the technology to deliver value to the customer intangible assets are central to the value created to stakeholders in technology development while tangible deliverable product creates value to shareholders in the product development phase finally technology development effort primarily lowers technology risk while product development efforts lower market risk i hope This gives you a clear understanding of the phase shift that needs to happen between technology development and product development as you move from lab to market while commercializing advanced technologies. Before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.